In this video, we will walk you through the basics of using the point of sale terminal, including how to start your shift, add items to a chit, combine and settle chits, end your shift, and much more. Note that depending on your club's POS setup, your POS screen may look different, with different buttons or buttons labeled different than the example I will be using in this video. To start your shift, you must first log into the point of sale, also known as POS, terminal. Enter your user ID and password, then select login or press enter on your keyboard. You may receive a prompt informing you your shift has started. Select the green check mark or press enter on your keyboard to proceed. This will take you to the start a chit screen. If you see a table layout, select the table you'd like to assign the chit to. If this POS terminal is not utilizing a table layout, you can select the register button, which will be in place of the layout button. Then, depending on your setup, you may be prompted to enter a member number or be taken right to the POS entry screen. Assign the responsible member for the chit by typing the first few letters or digits of their name or member number. Depending on your setup, you may have a search button as well. Enter or confirm the number of covers and select the seat number for the responsible member. Let's take a quick walkthrough of the POS screen. The toolbar features a small number of icons displayed at the top of your POS screen, where you can find function buttons that are commonly used in every chit, order, or transaction. They can contain the most frequently used functions required for processing chits, such as item lookup, quantity, next order, and more. The main menu is the first menu that will appear when you open the chit entry screen for this area. It will contain sales items that are available for sale, which appear as buttons. Additional menus will be accessible as tabs above your main menu. A fixed function menu is a menu that appears at the bottom of your POS screen, where you can use functions that are commonly used in every chit, order, or transaction. Example functions include void, discount, send, and more. The top left-hand side of the screen has the following features up and down arrows that allow you to move between chits within the same table, as well as a drop down to switch between chits assigned to the same table, and a green plus sign to add additional chits to that specific table. Below that you will find all the sales items that have been added to the chit, broken down by course, seat number, quantity, description, and unit price. At the bottom of the left hand side of the screen you will see the total, including any applicable tax, gratuity, or service charges. If you click on the total, it will provide a full breakdown of the chit details, including subcharges and all totals. You will also be able to see the member name and number or cash for a non-member slash guest. In the order info tab, you can assign a member to a seat by selecting the seat number, then selecting cash or the current member's name. You can change the number of covers and table numbers if enabled for this area. The courses available for use on this chit will be listed here as well. In the Client Info tab, you will see the member photo, if applicable, as well as customizable member info fields such as member status, birthday, etc. At the bottom of the POS screen, you will also be able to see the chit number. To add a sales item to a chit, simply select the corresponding seat number from the Order Info tab and select the item from the menu. If you add an item with any modifiers, also known as preparation options, that need to be identified, you will receive a pop-up allowing you to add those prep options. The prep option menus will display as tabs, and the individual prep items for that prep option menu will be listed for selection. The selections remaining section will state the minimum prep options required for the modifier, as well as the maximum prep options that can be added. Once you have added all the prep options, Select Done. The prep options will be added to the sales item on the chip. If you do not see the modifier that you are looking for, or if the client wants to add an additional modifier, take a look to see if you have a keyboard mode button or something similar, which will allow you to enter the modifier. To change the seat number for an item, select the item, then select the seat number. In a food and beverage POS menu, when you add an item to the chip, a course will automatically be assigned based on the sales category assigned to that item. If you want to change the course for an item, 
select the item on the chit, then select the course. And this will change the course letter. Alternatively, you can select the course first, then add an item to the chit. You can continue to add items to the chit until the chit has been settled. As you are adding items, and once all items have been added, you can utilize the function buttons to finalize and close the chit. Some common function buttons that you may see on your menu include void, where you can select the item you would like to remove from the chit, then select void. You may be asked to enter a reason for the void. Item discount. There are different discount buttons that are available, and you can use the one that is available on your POS screen, where you can enter the discount amount, percentage, or new selling price accordingly. Send selected. Select the items you would like to send to the kitchen to prepare, then select send selected. Once an item has been sent, it will no longer appear in yellow. Send will send all items on the chit to the kitchen to prepare. Use the fire course button to fire all items of the same course at once. Only eligible courses will be listed for selection. Once you're ready to set all chit, you can set how the chit will be paid. For example, if the chit will be paid by multiple clients. To split a chit, select the split chit button. For a quick split, you can use the quick function split. Even split by covers will automatically split the total by the total number of covers. If you need to adjust the number of covers, you can do so from the main POS screen prior to performing the split. Split by seat number will split items on the chit based on the seat number. Note that if there is a primary member and a dependent, for example spouse, on the same chit, it will put the dependent and primary on the same bill because they typically have the same bill to member, i.e. it will keep their seat numbers on the same chit. Another option is to perform a split using a selection and function mode. By item allows you to split by one or multiple selected items. By seat will select all items assigned to the selected seat number. By course will select all items based on the selected course. For the function mode, select the item you want to move, then select the chit you want to move the item to. Split selected item, select the item you want to split, then select the chits you want to split the item with. To adjust the quantity of the split, reselect the item you will be splitting, then select done split. Once you've completed the split, you can finalize the changes or finalize the changes and print the chit, with the option to adjust the number of chit copies, or you can cancel any changes you made. For more information on splitting chits, watch the video titled, Moving and Splitting Items in POS. If you are not ready to settle and close the chit, you can use the next order button to return to the Start a Chit screen, where you can return to this chit at a later time by selecting it from the Start a Chit screen. Alternatively, you can select the walk away or log out button if you need to walk away from the POS terminal, which will log you out of your account. Depending on your menu setup, the chit may print automatically once settled. Alternatively, you can utilize the print chit options that have been made available on your menu. When the client is ready to settle their chit, you can use the settlement options available on your functions menu, which typically consist of cash, card, or member charge as well as gift card or any other available settlement options made available. Depending on your setup, once you select the settlement option, the system may auto settle using the balance noted on screen, or you may be prompted to approve or edit the amount being paid. You may also have to select the close chip button afterwards. After you close a chip, you will be brought back to either the login screen or the POS start a chit screen where you can select an open chit by selecting a table or create a new chit. You can also select the My Chits tab, which will list any chits you currently have open. From this tab, you have the option to use the Move Items function. This function works similar to splitting chits and allows you to move items between selected chits. To use this function, select the Move Items button, then select the chits you want to move items between and select Done Selecting. From here, select the item you want to move and select the chit you want to move the items to. Then you can go ahead and finalize your changes. Another option is to use the Combine Chits function. This option allows you to combine selected chits. The chit you select first will become the main chit 
and the client assigned to this chip will become the owner of the combined chits. To use this function, select the Combine Chits button and select the chits you want to combine. Then select Done Selecting. In the Combine Selected Chits window, select the green check mark to combine the chits. This will take you to the POS screen with the open chit. If you have any open chits, you can quickly settle them by using the Settle and Close Chits function. Note that this function can only be used on chits assigned to a member, as this function will automatically settle to member charge. To use this function, select the Settle and Close Chits button and select the chits you would like to close. Then select the Done Selecting button. In the Settle and Close Chits window, adjust the number of chit copies as required, then go ahead and Settle and Close or Settle, Close and Print. Once you are ready to end your shift, select the My Shift tab. Note that you cannot end your shift unless all chits have been closed or you have assigned the chit to another server. Once all of your chits have been closed or reassigned, select End Shift or End Shift and Print Report. After you have ended your shift, if it has been set up by your club, you have the option to perform tip outs and may be presented with a prompt asking if you'd like to tip out other staff. Alternatively, you can select the Enter slash Edit Tip Outs button. For more information, watch the video titled Staff Tip Out Feature. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.